you're doing? I'm stealing this van. Oh, yes. Can I help you? Is this your vehicle, sir? Yeah, well, I'm in charge of it. It's the youth centres. I just found this lad trying to steal it. I doubt if he could reach the pedals. You'd be surprised, sir. Do you know him? Yeah, come on, Jimmy. Get out of there. Well, here's your key, sir. Yeah, he must have taken them from my office. What's your name? What's it matter? Jimmy Nelson. Oi, come here. I can't let you off this time. If I catch you tampering with any more vehicles again, you won't be so lucky. Understand? Go lick your bottom. What? <laughs> what did he say? They're just kids. Look, the 11 cars have gone missing from this road in the last five days. We're not expensive, God. It's just kids taking it for sure. Well, we're aware of that. And our aim is to provide something for those young people who might otherwise end up in trouble. We don't ban members, or we try not to ban members who misbehave. That just pushes the problem elsewhere. Many of the lads here have problems, many of them stemming from home. Some end up in trouble. We have two members in prison that I visit, excuse me. Hey, no, you don't. Oh, you'll be all right. Come on, you look get lost. You're not meant to be in the building now. Turn that off. Come on. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, you see what They took me out. Yeah, they'd enjoy that. Look, what I was going to say earlier was we go to a motor project on Wednesday afternoons. Gives them a chance to drive legally. If you were interested, you may not be free. You could come along and give them a talk or something. All right. Who's that? Your mum. Where'd you come from? Yorkshire. Do you? What'd you come here for then? Work. I weren't stealing that van. Okay. There's a lot of cars gone missing from this area. It ain't me. Enjoy your riders. That's right. When I was young, my mate, well, my mate got a motor scooter. He didn't lick it right. He done it up. I think it's been done. Blind. Did he take it for rides? Yeah, we all had to go up the wreck. You're not supposed to, you know. It was at night, it was all right. Well, scary though. Is it the same age as you? Older. It's probably stolen and abandoned. Weren't that good to nobody? You done it up, ain't you, eh? Could be stealing, though. But you don't do that, yeah? People at the cemetery do. Cemetery? Yeah, it's where all the secret lemonade and the pictures go. Do you sniff glue? Have you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Sort of. I have. You're going to marry her? Nah, she's just a bit of skirt. <laughs> it's a deer sniff glue. I'm not stupid. Hello? Uh, is Mr. Koreshi in? No, my grandfather said, but he speaks no English. Oh, uh, well, can you tell your father his car's been found? It's been badly damaged, but it's in Barchester Street. That's in East 14. Do you want me to write that down for you? I'll tell you, thank you. Fine, well, it's been found. What's that dog doing in here? Oh, no. How did it get in here? I don't know. I think he's been following me. Perhaps he wants to become a police dog. It's a mongrel. Well, you can't get the right type of applicants these days. Oi, come on, get it out of here! Oi, oi, oi! That's a good job. I can do all the cars in Sun Hill for 15 quid. You don't know how many there are. Why? They could be on to a bargain. It's worth it. You get us a contract, right? 
You got a car, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll chuck that in for free. You can leave my car. That's right. You know this bloke? He's got two cars. I'll do them both. Think about it. Okay. See you later, right? See ya. We certainly wouldn't be interested in implementing these measures without the support of the community at large. They get to know how we think and we get to understand them. There's nothing to understand. They're no good. Look, you're generalising. Most of them have a minus IQ, right? They can just about remember how to breathe. There's unemployment and things around here, you know? Things are just... Yeah, and the fact is, what I'm saying is those kids are unemployable. Look, I've got to go, yeah? Oh, that's great. So what, we just forget about them, yeah? It's not our problem. I mean, yeah, it's great to get to know our future customers, but you know... What? This is like crime prevention. A youth club can give these kids discipline and a bit of self-motivation. A lot of what they should have got at school. Right, right. But it ain't got nothing to do with us. Look, it's not all about nicking people, is it? Things are harder now for kids. Hey! Can you stop shouting? Rubbish. Ain't stopping nothing. Look, it's not about nicking people, is it? Things have always been bloody hard, like from time. Do you understand what I'm saying to you here? Look, I hope it goes well, okay? See you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Typical. What's all that about? I don't know. He's talking about working at St. Mark's. I gave him my opinion. I think it's a total waste of time. Those kids, they don't respect their homes, they don't respect their families, they're bad kids, that's all. Yeah? It's too late. I ain't gonna learn any values in there. And that's all? Yeah. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, then. Eh? Here you are, you ain't seen a dog, have you? No. All right, Tony. He really winds me up sometimes. Yeah, Malcolm? He thinks he's so... He really thinks he's hard. Yeah, all right, we'll give him a chance to settle in. I mean, what have I done? It's him. He's come here, thinks he's king of the street, but he thinks he's so okay. bloody cool. All right, careful, yeah? It's true. You don't know what I'm talking about. He's slagging the kids off at our patch and he don't even know them. Well, I've heard you slagging those kids off. Jews around here are a pain in the arse. What's all this about? It's not always the kid's fault, is it? That doesn't alter what Malcolm's saying, does it? There's a lot of people around here who are going to agree with him. This is how shaft, is it? Well... Look at their kids. It's obvious he's not going to understand us. And you do? Yeah. Look, it's not about that. These bad homes, but they're not all bad kids. He's a funny bloke, though, Ains. I mean, I've been racist. I know plenty of... Is black... this your dog? Oh, no. your dog. That's not my dog. Well, it's got your address on his collar. Oh, that's because it's my collar. Cheers. Well, whose dog is it? My dog's dead. I ain't having that much of this. It's... But it's following me everywhere. Well, that's your problem, then.
I use this one. So matter, can't you do it? No, it's a waste of time. If you don't put a cart together, you don't go out. I oh, wish stupid. Well, you know where the gate is. Come on, Keith, don't be like that. Don't give up. I'll give you a hand. You'll show me what to do. Can we use this rod? Blinky blonky blimey, son. You're nicked. to get in, I'd ever such a long wait. The twenty two used to be such a good bus. Well, of course, I'm talking, what, uh, t -t 20 years ago? Oh, you probably don't remember that, did you, darling? No, I no, no, you wouldn't. I had to stand all the way, then I had to queue to get in here. Oh, this country never used to be like this. What seems to be the problem? There's a new couple moved next door. I think they've gone away to get married. I, I thought I'd better tell you this. There's a UFO in their garden. I can see it from my window. Do you ever see your real dad? No. Can you remember him? I don't know, I think I can. I've seen him in a lot of photographs when people tell me a lot about him. Does he look like you? I suppose so. Why did you become a fisherman? To wear some dodge. Time for a phone card. It's not been used. Where did you get that from? Up and down. Get all the amount of units. 148 from Sierra Oscar. Are you receiving? Over. 148 receiving. Go ahead, Sarge. Bad news, Yorkie. Your youth club. It's had its cassette deck stolen. Are you joking? Sorry, Sunshine. You'd have to use your local knowledge. I shout out of order. There won't be any music now. Who do you reckon did it? You're going to catch him? Why your snout? Could be. What's the reward? Can of coke. Can of coke, my backside. Ain't worth it. I could get stitched up over this. Who will buy? Buy whoever done it. Do you know who done it? No. This ain't no easy money, you know. I'd have to work hard for it. As I say, it could be risky. I'd give you police protection. 24 hour? So what's the deal? Two cans of coke. Well, what do you want? A Big Mac? I ain't going to buy a roller with that, am I? <laughs> I'm going to have a roller. I'm going to have a car that will make my money selling rollers. I've got this idea, right? I'm going to get snow from the North Pole. And then at Christmas, I'm going to sell it to all the rich people. No snow will be seen dead without a white lawn. Imagine the kids looking out on Christmas Day. Why, we got no snow, Daddy. See, and there's my roller. That must be Mum. What have you been doing, then? Nothing. Your mate's called over for you. Oh, I don't know. One with the spots. I, uh, going to take him away, then, are you? No. Stuck with him, am I? He hasn't done anything wrong. Yet. Good. That's your bag of chips? Yeah. You're very lucky, Mrs. Nelson. He's a great lad. Peter, we have a Mrs. Scott at 15 Alpha, Gifford Street, who claims that she has a UFO in her neighbour's garden. Check it out, will you? Are you winding me up? When did it go? Last night. Probably while the club was closing. When I was still here. Well, they probably did it on purpose. Oh, who do you reckon did it? I can't name names. Well, when was the last time you saw the deck? It must have been when we turned it off, just before we closed. So, who was still here then? Well, you saw who. Look, this is just a fact of life in a club like this. you just got to expect this. Well, what does that mean? Simply, no, I don't think it's worthwhile shopping a couple of lads for the price of a cassette recorder. Oh, and you'll get given a new one anyway. So that means you're supporting crime then, yeah? I hope not. 
I'm going to find out who was responsible. I'm going to get the cassette recorder back. Your involvement as a police officer could threaten what we've built up here. The trust with our members... You are... reported the crime? I'm obliged to by the management committee. In case at a later date, yes, we need the claim on our insurance. A life of crime is a perennial option for young people around here. A criminal tag, getting a conviction can help suck them into that. You've got to teach kids not to steal. Yeah, but it's how you teach them. If you think about stealing something, the possible consequences would outweigh the rewards. We've got to broaden these kids' horizons so that they can hopefully reach that same conclusion. Look, you do something wrong, you get a smack bum. That's life. They understand that. You're not helping them, you know. You've got to have discipline. You've got to have discipline to create anything in life. Anyway, it's my job to find out who's responsible for the theft, not to sort out what to do with them. So I need some names. It could have been anybody. It could have been the boy yesterday. The boy in the van. Jim, mate. Well, he's got more keys than a typewriter. One day, the caretaker in his estate lost his keys, so he went straight to Jimmy. And he had them. No, it's just that he's got a key for everything. He can get in anywhere. He's got quick hands. Now, he's the type of boy you don't want to see in Woolworths. Sierra Oscar from 148, receiving. Go ahead, Yorkie. Red Cortina. Thanks for coming, Dad. Come through, come through. I don't think the officer has let them in. Oh, maybe you believe me. Where exactly is it? I, I'm sure it's ours. He hasn't moved since the ride. There it is, see? That's nothing to worry about. That's a satellite dish. Oh. It's used to get television from all around the world. So do you know all about it, then? Yeah, they're getting quite common now. Oh, isn't it funny how they all come to this area first? <laughs> you have a peppermint. Well. <laughs> you don't come from around here, though, do you? Well... Well, do you know we've had the Jews, the Indians, the Yakis, and now the Marchants? No, 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 it's a satellite dish. You can rent them. That's good, isn't it? It's not a UFO at all. No, it's a satellite dish. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea, love? I've got one brewing. Thanks, love. Here they are. What's he done now? Nothing. Uh, is he at all? Uh, he said he might have some information on the theft of that stereo from the youth centre. Not again. I don't know where he is. He went out with his mates. You could try the cemetery. Which cemetery? You know, used to be the old underground car park. Up there. You know. I'll try it there, then. Officer! Are you all right, love? No. He used an aerosol or something, knocked her over and ran off with her bag. An ambulance is on its way. Do you know her? No. I was just uh, on the opposite side of the road when it happened. Would you recognise the man? I think so. He was young, probably 16. I think he had a knife. Was he black or white? Uh, it all happened very quickly. He could have been younger than 16. He was white. <laughs> there won't be a moment, love. Sierra Oscar from 743 receiving over. Go ahead, 743. The ambulance has just gone by in the opposite direction. Could you try and sort that out, please? Over. Thank you, 743. Maybe it was full. We'll make sure you get on the next one down. Over. Thank you, Malcolm.
Sierra Oscar from 148, are you receiving over? Go ahead, Yorkie. Look, I'm in Johnson Road. Can you send a van round to pick up a young lad? Certainly. Right, get up. What's your name, son? Mark Brown. Right, turn out your pockets. Why are you running, Mark? Do you know how many days are in a day? So I come here, right? I'll saucy. Sort of I ain't done nothing wrong. You've been sniffing glue. Do you know it can kill you? I know. Uh, the Cortina's now heading east along the bow road. Oh, they've just skipped another red line. Round paddock bending up in a fault. Round where? Oh, my God, they're on to the opposite side of the carriageway. Why do you call it the cemetery? What do you want to call it? I could have stayed at home and watched the walls. I've only just got up, so it's too early to go back to bed, right? I just want to sow. Come on. Dream. Tom gone. Get up. Why? Because you're doing no good sat there. I ain't done nothing. Oh. I bought you a present. You don't have to have it. A present? Yeah, I thought it might keep you company. Oh, it's the nicest present that I've ever had. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Tony. Yeah. Did you solve your case with a missing stereo? Yeah. Ah, oh, never mind. Does it put you off, is it? No. So oh, I don't know, Sarge. Oh, did you hear about your red Cortina? No. It was pursued through 23 red lights, and it was a stolen vehicle. It was clocked doing 90 going up the northern approach to the Blackwall Tunnel. Then it crossed the central reservation, so it's gone the wrong way up a dual carriageway. Then it hangs a right against a no-right turn, and it's an oncoming vehicle. Wraps itself around a lamppost. Two dead. Duty officer's on his way to the hospital to see what happens to the third victim. No, it's just been confirmed. The third victim of the fatal accident was just died. Rhymes. Yonky, Porky, Puddling Fly, Kiss the Girls and Baby Fly. All the girlies ran away because I was talking to you, Gay. <laughs> <laughs> 